few weeks are going to hey guys. be stressful for me so, and for us. I'm going to connect these wires. I'm going to twist them together. I know, I'm, I'm eating a butterscotch. They're so good. Okay. That's it. I'll be calling each of you. Hey, puppy. And the part of his defense is going to be to say the NYPD has been dead at Got this boot here. It's really limited my walking kind of distance. And, uh... Speaking of taking the bait, I know we're all on edge, but whatever is going on in this squad room's got to stop. Tomorrow, bro, once I'm talking to you. Okay. Copy that, Captain. Yeah, whatever you say. Wait, because Nick, I know we uh, All right, look over y'all. Uh, said some things you misinterpreted. Oh, I misinterpreted. What? She's saying she's sorry. Right, man? I'm sorry. You used the flux. And now. Yeah, yeah we're good. Oh, I'm right-handed. All right. Make this work. Suffolk County is 50 miles outside this district attorney's purview. Those charges should be tried separately. The teeth does wire are up. Are part of William Lewis's course of conduct in a four-day torture, kidnap, rampage that began in Detective Benson's New York apartments. The DA thinks by piling on charges, he can overwhelm a jury. This is beyond prejudicial, Your Honor. I've read your arguments and I agree. Combining these cases could pose an unfair burden on the defendant, Your Honor. And since the burden is something that could come up on appeal, I am ruling in favor of the defense's motion to separate out these charges. Thank you, Your Honor. But I will allow the jury to hear evidence pertaining to what the detective herself Witnessed or experienced. Excuse me? Your Honor? Mr. Lewis, I apologize. Could you speak up? Okay. Due to the beating I received, Let's I see how that no longer looks. have hearing in my left ear. Will there be an issue at trial? The prison hospital will be issuing a hearing assist device 